those voices? B where am I? before. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have... Oh, 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 those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. That's why you took it with you when you left, isn't it? Almost a year ago. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart, Art Teacher. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. this song. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions.
We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat, and be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days, then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you. But suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound, is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. See if I can find any trace of you around here. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Ill and mort. Island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Hmm. Bone ornaments, wooden stakes, and spears. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. carved my name in the back of this Unu. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. 
It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. But who or what is CW? Another hidden spot? This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. The missing mechanism. Here it is. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. I'm always just behind you, aren't I, Harry? First Englewood and now Tahiti. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier, but a Polynesian version. Ah, oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. The mountain on this island is even more majestic than how I remembered it in my dreams. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol.
my, this is so beautiful. What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. This doesn't look like a very welcoming spot. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Guess I hit the jackpot. I guess that's my ticket across the river then. Steady now. 